Hello everyone, this is JJ and guess what I just got from Kmart? I think you already know it, but it is the 2-in-1 gaming speaker. This is actually only $35, which is, I guess, not that expensive. It is a reasonable price and I heard Kmart item is not that bad from all the reviews. So let's see how good it is and whether it is worth the $35 Aussie dollars that I spent on it. It is using USB as power and also an audio input and it has Bluetooth as well which is really really good. So let's quickly just open it up and see how it looks like. I hope it doesn't just dismantle when I open it up. Okay, this is it. And this is the soundbar. So right now it's connected. Let's see how to detach it. Alright, so this is my first impression for both of them. So the material looks kind of standard. It is some sort of plasticky, doesn't look really high quality as expected. Right here you have a button as well where you can change the mode of auxiliary or Bluetooth and then you can also turn the volume up and down. To be honest, I'm not too sure how are you going to review a speaker besides just letting it play sound. So I'm gonna just plug it in and hopefully it works. Bluetooth mode. Oh, so so it's on already. Look at it. Look at the RGB colors. It is really minimal. So it's just the sides. Okay, I actually already see a few problems with this gaming speaker slash soundbar that I'm going to be addressing tomorrow since right now it is actually um, 2 a.m. I'm going to see you tomorrow and I'm going to address some issues with this speaker. Alright, good afternoon everyone. So yesterday I talked about this gaming speakers from Kmart and how nice it looks and it also works which means I do not need to return it. But wait. The sound that is coming out from this speaker is not at the front. So everything in the front is all just decoration. It just looks good for the sake of looking good. The sound is produced from the back. Do you see the holes here? Yeah. If you, these are where the sounds are coming out from. So it's, the sound is coming out from the back. So when I put this gaming soundbar under my monitor, the sound is going to reflect the wall and only then I can only hear it. That means sound have been distorted and interfered by my walls and surrounding area and it's not directly facing towards me. Even worse is that I have a window just at the back of my monitor which means if I open my window, sound is going to just escape from my window and go to my neighbor, so it's going to be really noisy. That means the sound quality is not going to be good. The second problem I have is the volume control knob. If you see closely enough, you do not know when it's going to be going too high or when is it going to be too low. It, it just keeps spinning forever. If it goes too high, it's just going to bling a sound. And if it goes too low, it's going to bling a sound as well. Like, sound like this. But anyways, let's test the sound quality as loud as possible to see how well it sounds. In terms of how loud it can go, I think it is on par with other speakers, which means it can just fill up the entire room and also you can hear it a bit from outside the house, around 5 meters away from the room. I'm not sure whether you can hear the sound quality through my microphones, but right now I'm going to be testing the bass sound.
Okay, to be fair, the gaming and sound effects of this speaker is still alright. It's not bad at all. I still can hear clearly all the sound effects since it is actually pretty loud. But I'm, I'm not sure for my neighbors though. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna return it.